Hello to you all, welcome back again into our lesson video. So today we're going to be looking at climate and change revision. Okay, so specifically fundamentally mid-light cyclones. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more lesson content. Okay, so please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Um okay, so let's let's look at these agents and jump into our revision. So section A, question one, climate and uh, weather. So 1.1 does refer to figure 1.1 showing a cross section of a midnight cyclone. Okay, so we have our figure 1.1, okay, showing, um, so sorry, just a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so our figure 1.1, okay, shows a cross section of a midnight cyclone. Okay, yes, so this is our cross section. Of a midline cyclone, okay. Yes, we can clearly see the physical features of a midline cyclone, okay. Yes, okay, we saw that. Um, okay, so a very clever student, uh, for geography student, was going to clearly see that, okay, the very first thing that they were going to do in this cross section, they would see that, okay, so this is the cross section of midline cyclone. So mean that behind the system, as you can see, behind the system, you know that we have the what? The coal front, right? Yes, they were going to draw down their coal front, okay? So that this can help them when answering the questions, okay? Yes, so we have the coal front behind the system, okay? Mm -hmm. So behind the system, we have the coal front. So if you ever have the coal front, meaning that this portion here is there, Coal sector, okay? Yes, so this is the coal sector, and also in front of the system, we have the what? We have the warm front, okay? Let's draw the warm front. The student will draw the warm front there, okay? So we have the warm front in front of the system, okay? Yes, so in front of the system, we have the warm front, okay? Yes. So that's how it goes. Okay, so now let's go and climb very, very quick into our questions. Okay, so, oh my God, that bit has appeared on this side, but I think you've seen what I'm try, uh, I was trying to do in this case, okay? Yeah, so I was trying to show you that. So in this side, we have the, we have the cold front, right? Yes, and also this side, we have the, we have the warm front, okay? Yes, so as you can see, those lines there for the cold front, and this line, the significance of a um, warm front, okay? Yes, so let's quickly erase that, okay? Yes, so that you can disturb when it comes to our um, questions. Okay, a little bit, guys. Okay, let's jump into our questions now. Okay, so the very first question now says um, the very first question says 1.1.1 is the warm is the air warmer at a or b so is air warmer at a or or at b so i showed you guys i tried to show you um a warm front and a cold front right yes so mean that if ever we had a warm front this side okay if ever we had a warm front this side this basically means that in this sector, this was going to be a warm sector, meaning that A at A is warmer than A at B. The other reason why it be is because there's only cold air or cooler air that is left at B. All the warm air have risen because you know that it has humidity. Okay? Yes. So um, the air is warm at A, and that's how it goes. Okay. So let's move to second question. So the second question, so the answer there is A, right? Yes. So the answer here is A. So A is warm at A. Okay, so let's move to 1.1.2. It says name the cloud type labeled C. The cloud type labeled C. Okay. What's the 
cloud type is this one. So it's clearly you can see the shape, you can see this kind of thing. You can see guys, this is a cumulonimbus cloud, okay? Yes, and also it is associated to be on the side of a of the cold sector. Okay, yes, it goes with the cold front. Okay, yes, you know the cold front conditions. I've I've mentioned them in the lesson for um for for, for mid late cyclones. Okay, yes. So this is the this is the Cuma Lunimbus cloud. So the cloud type C is Cuma Lunimbus cloud. Okay, yes, I've mentioned that guys. So let's move to the next sort of lesson. Um, um Question, so question 1.1.3 says, identify the front label D. So let's, so this front here, I told you that this is the warm front, okay? Yes. So this front is the warm front, okay? Yes. The other reason why this is the warm front is because you can see on the top or on the warm center, okay? We have the type of clouds which are called nimbus stratus clouds. Okay, yes, so we have Nemo Stratus Cloud, you can see the shape, guys. Um, yeah, so let's move to 1.1.4. I'll put 1.4, so state the intensity of the rainfall being expanded at X and Y. So we have to um, state which type of rainfall experienced at X and Y. Okay, yes, so the type of rainfall experienced at X you know that this rainfall is being caused by or is from cumulonimbus clouds. You know, cumulonimbus clouds are big, big, huge clouds, guys, okay? That causes heavy rainfall. So, at X, we're experiencing heavy rainfall. So, X is heavy rainfall, and let's go to Y. What about Y? I told you the type of clouds that are in this warm sector. So, these are nimbus stratus clouds, okay? Nimbo stratus clouds. So, what the type of rainfall that is being experienced by these nimbus stratus clouds at Y? So it's going to be it's going to be light rainfall, okay? Yes, light rainfall, very very light rainfalls on that side of the warm sector, okay? Yes, all be influenced on the side of the warm front, okay? So at X we have heavy rainfall from the cumulonimbus clouds, and at Y we have light rainfall that is influenced or that is from the nimbus stratus clouds. And that's how it goes. I think I've made that one, guys. So let's move to 1.1.5. So 1.1.5 says state the general direction of the movement of the system. So you know that mid light cyclones are moving which direction? Each and every time they don't change direction, okay? Yes, so mid light cyclone moving from east to west. So the direction of this is east to west. I think you can clearly see um, also the arrows, okay? Yes, from e from east, from west to east, so sorry. From west to east, okay? Yes, from west to east. Um, from west to east, okay? Yes, from west to, to east. And that's it, thank you so much. Okay, so from west to east, so there. The, the general direction of the movement of this system, which is mid light cyclone, is it's west to east, guys. Okay, yes, or you can say easterly direction. Okay, yes, but the most common one is west to east. Okay, yeah, that's how it goes. So let's move to 1.1.6. Let, let's erase that. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so 1.1.6 is that. Name the wind that steers this weather system. Okay, so the reason why. Okay, so in other question we can just say, in other ways of asking this question, you can say, why is this system moving from from west to east? Okay, what what's the influence? What's the major influence? So we have to name the winds that steers this this system. So winds that steers these systems are called, we call them westerlies, okay? So they are westerlies, okay? You know that the planetary winds that are blowing from west to, to east is moving this system from this direction, west to east, are called westerlies. And the winds that are blowing 
a system from east to west are called easterlies as planetary winds okay yes so the answer here is westerlies okay yes so in terms of naming the wind that steers this weather system is called westerlies okay so uh that's how it goes guys and that's the end of our lesson today please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson contents thank you so much see you cheers